Welcome back. In this video I make my wood-fired smelting furnace out of scrap and I cast some ingots. To make my furnace I need a few things and of course to start with I need a housing that the fire is going to burn in and um, I'm going to use this old LPG bottle and of course I'm washing it out first and going to leave water in there when I start cutting. I'm going to need a blower. My friend Brent loaned me this one and it's a really good one. Variable speed. I'm not sure what I'll use for the crucible yet, but I don't need this on the top, so that's where I'll start. So what to use for the crucible? Online I've seen tin cans used, I've seen stainless steel pots used, right through to the proper um, ceramic pots that you can use. But uh, I did see kind of like a barbecue setup used where they just had a pot sitting in the top of a hole cut out of a barbecue with a fan driving air in of course. I got given this today. Um, it's an old expired fire extinguisher of course. This is going to go in the sink down through that hole I'm making for the um, crucible. It's not the fastest way to make a hole. <laughs> the only thing I haven't worked out yet is how the, where the chimney is going to go because the um, crucible is going to go fit in that hole so I'm not sure how that's going to work I might just have to drill some big holes around the sides so far so good oh my goodness <laughs> mixture of redwood and polonia. Polonia is not supposed to burn that well. We'll see. Do you think that'll melt some aluminium? I think so. I'm just trying to burn off a bit of the paint. Man, this thing is going to be so good. It's just idling it. It's pretty, just probably all it's going to need to melt the aluminium. It's burnt out the wood that was in there quite quickly. But um, with that coal I've got to use, that should go really well. It's only a tiny little bit of timber left in there. And it seems to be burning it really efficiently very very little smoke. Good morning this is the second day of this project it's Wednesday and um, thanks Dave for um, giving me that mag wheel and the three others um, that I'll cut up and turn into aluminium ingots which I'll cast in that muffin tray. Thanks Adrian for that um, and to do that I have to 
turn this into a crucible which fits in here and it has to have a handle on it which is safe to use for lifting out and pouring into the polystyrene foam molds. This is the lost polystyrene foam method that I'm trying to achieve here. All this is in once again to make the bearing housings um, that will go in the tabernacle so the mask can rotate in them and I think I've finally worked out in my head how I'm going to design and build them. Let's do it. So I need to do a quick cal calculation to work out how deep the crucible's got to be and to do that I've had to work out the um, volume of the bearing and um, it's going to be square with two spigots out each side um, but I figure that to be 1728 cubic centimeters minus the um, center which is um, 942 centimeters so that the mask fits through so that gives a volume of 800 I mean 786 crucible is um, 9.5 centimeters diameter um, so that's an area of 90 and um, I need to know how deep I need to make it then so it's um, 786 um, divided by 90 equals 8.7 centimeters deep plus I'm adding 50% because you've got to allow for dross on the top um, wastage um, and also things I just haven't allowed for like those spigots really I haven't calculated into them they're not a big volume but um, they still count I don't want to be caught short so that gives a yeah, plus 50 percent that gives um, 13 centimeters deep which is not a huge amount and um, for to be conservative I think I'll make it um, 15 centimeters deep I'm so used to working in millimeters I keep reverting back to it but just for this calculation centimeters is easier less numbers same result yep I've got enough depth in there and how handy I've got a line to cut around Guys, looking a bit bleak. I think it's going okay. It's been about half an hour now, and I'm starting to wonder if it'll work. So I just loaded it up with um, like half a bucket of pine, and there's probably five, six ladles of coal in there, maybe. Um, it's just don't know what air setting to um, put on it at this point. But it's looking a lot hotter with all that pine in there. There's hope yet. Five minutes later, and it's happening. Don't know if you can see it, but it's molten in the bottom. Looking good. Guys, I wonder if pine has ever had so many uses. Um, it cleared the house, it made my temporary frames. Uh, there was a second use, I used it for the temporary frames for the deck. Um, I'm starting to lose track of how many times I've used it. And now it's going to melt the aluminium. I need more muffin trays. This is the second batch. 
well I haven't really stopped um, I think I put a bit too much wood in and um, it's hard to get the fan right and it doesn't burn cleanly so it's like small batches of wood is best that's one whole wheel turned into muffins well actually it's half a wheel there's a lot of um, alloy left there of course So what does it look like inside the burner after this um, effort today? By the way, I'm putting my mask on straight after I talk every time. Don't worry about that. As a design, it's certainly not extremely efficient, I would say. But efficient enough. You get enough wood in there, get the blower going. You don't want to overdo it though with the blower I've found. It's just idling over. And um, I'd say next time I'd put the crucible off, off centre um, and the exhaust off centre. So two holes. And what that means is because it's swirling in there, because the crucible was in the centre, um, it almost was avoiding the concentration of the heat, whereas the fire was roaring around the sort of mid to outside before it vented. So that would be one way of probably getting more heat into the crucible. They sure retain their heat for a while. But I'm pretty happy with that. At the beginning of today, I would say my chances were, I was thinking 50-50 that um, I would get this far, seriously. Like I said, it's not the most efficient um, burner and way of doing it, I'm sure. <clears throat> but it worked. It really worked. I almost wish I had my foam casting ready and I could have poured it today. Um, but I needed to know I could do this and what volumes I could do, how much wood I'd need, how much coal. I didn't use a huge amount of coal. It was probably only about, not even a quarter of that bag I used. I'm pretty sure this is more than enough for one bearing. So um, I'll confirm that because I'll, tonight if I work on the bearing design, I'll get a volume. That volume will give me a weight. I know how many little lingots I've got now. All in all, I would call today a success. I'm very happy to say this is what you can do in two days if you really want to. And it hasn't cost me a huge amount at all. The wheels I got for free except for the tire removal, that was $30. The um, crucible container, that's um, a throw out fire extinguisher because it had expired by the testers. So that was, they were free. So all in all, that's pretty cheap to get set up. The LPG container, please be careful if you're cutting into them. So anyway, I think I'm going to stop this video here. I haven't had a break yet, it's 2.30, but I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to um, probably get enough metal for one bearing and also use up half a wheel, half a mag wheel to see um, what I got out of it. If you enjoyed the episode, thanks for watching and please give it a like and if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel. See you next time.